Hey team, what's going on? Uh, gonna open up a retail sampling of USA Baseball today. It uh, looks like here we get 35 trading cards and we get two autographs or memorabilia cards per box. Um, not a bad looking card overall, uh, in my opinion, in terms of what we'll get. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of some of the cards that I got in last year's Stars and Stripes. Um, these are things that are going to be going on eBay here really soon, but Jaron Kendall and a Kyle Wright out of 25. And you get these rookie silhouettes as well. I actually have two uh, Brennan McKay's for sale right now on eBay as well. You get Jaron Kendall uh, there again, who should be a pretty decent prospect. And then just a lot of stuff. I actually bought the Hobby Box last year. It was $60. Um, which is a bit more expensive than the retail sampling, but you do get uh, quite a significant amount more in terms of relics and autos, although you'd be the judge of whether or not that was worth that. Here's a Hunter Green jersey card with uh, Jake Berger and KJ Harrison, so decent trio of players on that one. All right, let's go ahead and open up our box here and see what we can pull. Packs in there. All right. Dog is making a little bit of noise, so we'll see uh, what's going on with him. Oh, he's lost his bone. So, can you grab that for him? Sorry about that. All right. Back at it. David Peterson, Anthony Siegler. Here's our first Jersey Relic plus Auto. Ryan Clifford, Bryce Terang, and a PD Halpin. I do not know who Ryan Clifford is currently. Looks like he's on the 14 and under national team, uh, the developmental team, so Possibility we won't really know who he is for another three, four years. JB Bukaskis, Travis Swaggerty, Dustin Worthy, 14 and under um, national development team. So two guys that are really young uh, in their autos there. So although probably better looking under than uh, uh, better looking auto than like uh, Dalvin Cook, who just has a DC for them. Jake McCarthy, Jackson Miller. So that might be all of our hits unless we get lucky with another one here. We'll see. Adam Halsey, Ryan Gilliam. Here's just the 2018 team checklist. Mark McGuire, collegiate national team. Kind of cool. Ryan Weathers. One thing from last year, they had uh, typically one foil card per pack. It looks like all of them this year are foil based. Raleigh Hector, Jeremy Ironman, Joshua Hartle, there's a Blaine Enlow, and a Kumar Rocker. No relation to John, if you're wondering. Keston Hira, so he's a pretty decent prospect for the Brewers. Sean Weimer, uh, a Mason Wynn. This looks like it is a numbered card out of 249. It has the red lettering there compared to the other ones, which are the typical gold. Two packs left. Let's see what we get. So Robert Moore, Johnny Aiello, Lucas Gordon, so Landon Marceau, and a Mark Vientos. 
Mark Vientos um, is a player that um, it might be a little bit of a foil card there. Mark Vientos is a guy that is a prospect for the Mets. Mets was drafted this past year. Uh, I currently have his Bowman Chrome as well. I'm going to list that tonight. Um, pretty nice looking auto that he has. Last pack. Got a Braden Shoemake. Will Banfield. There is a Michael Ciani, 18 under national team. It's a huge looking patch. Number two, 299. That's pretty nice. I ended up getting more than the projected two per box. Ethan Hankins and a Tanner Hoke. So um, just to kind of list a couple of them, we did get a top prospect for the Brewers in Keston Hira. We got the Mark Vientos. And then uh, we ended up with two autos, Destin Worthy from the 14 under development team, Ryan Clifford from the 14 under development team with the patch auto there, and then um, a pretty big patch there, uh, just white from the 18 under team, Michael Ciani. So that's our box. Um, pretty decent, I think, for a retail product in terms of what you're going to get in, in terms of quality uh, and quantity of hits. Uh, you gotta be kind of comfortable with getting guys that you don't really know about and probably be more of a set builder for, for this product to really um, whet your appetite. But overall kind of cool. Um, I probably won't collect much more of these cards overall. Um, got a ton of the USA products from 2007 and uh, I have the 2008 Bryce Harper uh, PSA 10 card. Uh, Right now, I posted it on Twitter. It's my card of the week. Uh, pretty cool looking card overall. So if you get a chance, check out my Twitter. It's at underscore cardstock, C-A-R-D-S-T-O-C-K. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.